Bonjour à tous. Merci de venir écouter cette présentation. Alors, je suis Caroline Morand, je suis la directrice du programme d'innovation Le Havre, ville portuaire intelligente. C'est un programme d'innovation porté par la communauté urbaine Le Havre Seine Métropole et qui regroupe 27 projets aujourd'hui dans son programme d'innovation. Il est réparti en trois axes que vous pouvez voir ici, attractivité du territoire, compétitivité portuaire et transition digitale et environnementale du secteur industriel. Aujourd'hui, on a voulu faire un focus sur quelques projets qui font partie du programme et qui sont en lien direct avec Synergie. Alors, sans plus tarder, je vais demander du coup à Thierry Dusselier, qui est donc directeur commercial de la société Ciné, qui est dans l'axe compétitivité portuaire avec nous, de venir présenter sa solution. Merci beaucoup. C'est mon instant Oscar, donc j'ai un speech. Euh, il y a pas mal d'anglophones sur le salon, donc je vais faire une présentation en anglais, euh, parce que comme elle sera diffusée, ce sera peut-être plus simple pour nos amis, notamment norvégiens, qui sont un peu plus loin. So thank you. Uh, thank you to the Région Normandie, the best place in the world. Thank you uh, Le Havre, thank you the FEDER and thank you Synergy for uh, the warm welcome. Good morning everyone. My name is Thierry Dusselier, I'm senior executive at uh, Ciné. And today I have a confession to make. I'm sorry to say it, but uh, there's a lot of people I talk to who don't like offshore wind farms. And when you listen to them, Sometimes, well, it's hard to not to blame them. Let's face it. We invade the last virgin territory on Earth. We modify the ecosystem. It's not that green if you think about the CO2 emission caused by their constructions and installations, etc., etc. It's hard to be proud of your job after that. But do we have a choice? I don't think we do. And why? Because it's renewable, because it's cleaner or less risky than other sources of electricity, and because, as Mr. De Labatie so rightly reminded us yesterday, two more degrees in the sea is the end of the Coquille Saint-Jacques near our shores, and that we cannot let happen. But it's not because we don't have a choice that we must do it no matter what. In fact, we have to make it right. We even have to try to make it perfect. And one way of doing so is to collaborate and share information so we make sure we move towards the same direction. At Cine, we have built a virtual platform where we aggregate data that we collect at sea from sensors, AIS, satellite imagery, studies. And why? Because we believe that if we manage to cross the right information at the right time, we'll help the stakeholders being more efficient and more eco-friendly when they work together. So what if? What if we can protect the marine mammals during the construction? That's what we've done in Courseul with our partners DEME, TSM and ADF, thanks to our real-time acoustics monitoring system that you can actually see on the picture there. What if we can use the knowledge of the fishermen to understand the risks instead of constraining them? That's what we're trying to do with the French government during our environmental studies prior to the construction. What if we can limit the fuel consumptions of the implied vessels thanks to our Metocean analytic system? What if we could cross AIS tracking system and cable information so that we prevent the risk of hooking? What if we could alert in real time where there's an air pollution or water pollution incident? Some of those solutions are actually used by Aropa, thanks to the Smart Port City project, which is, by the way, an excellent example of a win-win collaboration, making the stakeholders, the city, the port authority, and their respective ecosystems work together so they can take more sustainable decisions. What if? My name is Thierry Dusselier. I'm senior executive at Cine, and today I have a wish to make that we do business together with at least this objective to make the offshore wind farms great again. Thank you very much for your attention. 
Thank you so much, Thierry, for this. And you're right, you have a lot of projects here in the region with the Port Authority. And uh, we hope we could do all your things with you, with all the partners. And I think you already have a project of the sea. And uh, you want to have uh, more project here, and you you look for more money to do this. So we have cooperation to do this with you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. So uh, now I will call uh, Julie Gaville. So uh, Julie is directrice d'Abot. Tu vas nous présenter du coup tout autre, toute euh, l'offre d'Abot, et euh, je te laisse la parole. Merci Caroline. Bonjour à tous. Donc Julie Gaville, euh, je suis responsable donc d'Abot, qui est une PME qui fait partie d'une PME normande où on est spécialiste des drones professionnels. Je vais revenir un peu plus en détail, mais je vais dire pourquoi je suis, je suis là et avec donc, la, la ville du Havre et le projet Smartport City. En fait, avec plusieurs acteurs de la région, on porte un projet qui est le CIDN, donc le Centre d'Innovation Drone Normandie, donc une association de sept membres fondateurs. Euh, donc il y a la Normandie Aéroespace, donc, qui est une association qui regroupe des acteurs aéronautiques dans la région. On a euh, donc le Havre Seine Développement, l'Université euh, du Havre également, ROF7 qui est une euh, société privée euh, dans la prestation euh, inspection par drone, 76 qui est euh, également une petite TPE de, de prestation par drone et Polydrone qui est aussi un centre de formation pour euh, les métiers de télépilote de drone. Et donc nous à BOT euh, où on fournit euh, du matériel drone, des services et des logiciels euh, dans le but de donner euh, clé en main euh, à tous euh, les professionnels et les euh, collectivités ou entreprises privées qui le souhaitent euh, de pouvoir s'équiper en drone euh, pour euh, réaliser toutes leurs inspections, leurs besoins, etc. Donc ça a tout son sens aussi ici, parce qu'on peut très bien imaginer que pour, par exemple, les éoliennes, les parcs d'éoliens offshore, on a besoin d'un drone pour inspecter les pales, les plateformes, etc. Et donc nous, on essaye d'apporter tout le conseil et les produits pour pouvoir aider dans ces solutions. Et donc, euh, on est, voilà, sept membres fondateurs qui avons décidé de mettre en commun euh, toutes nos expertises pour pouvoir aider et structurer le marché euh, du drone dans la région. Donc, c'est un marché très dynamique qui croit euh, très, très vite euh, et euh, qui a besoin aussi euh, d'être euh, soutenu localement, donc avec les collectivités et euh, pour donner des initiatives. Donc, aujourd'hui, le CIDN euh, regroupe différents euh, axes de travail. En fait, c'est surtout une mise en main commun et une mutualisation euh, donc d'expertise, de ressources humaines parce qu'on ne fait pas tous la même chose donc euh, c'est bien aussi de, de pouvoir collaborer ensemble il y a euh, donc également euh, un axe visibilité bien sûr puisque ça nous permet d'être plus fort, de rayonner plus fort, on est des petits acteurs des petites sociétés, des petites structures donc ça nous permet aussi de pouvoir euh, rayonner un peu plus fort et puis d'entrer dans des projets comme le, le Smartport City euh, ça prend tout son sens on a aussi la possibilité donc de d'aider de, aussi des besoins et des entreprises à réaliser des projets donc à travers euh, l'axe expérimentation donc par exemple il y a une problématique euh, qu'une entreprise peut avoir qui a besoin de inspecter ou d'avoir un produit euh, une solution spécifique euh, sur une problématique et eh bien on, on, les différents acteurs peuvent aider à répondre à, à cette à cette question donc soit par des expérimentations par de la recherche aussi et puis pas de la, pour de la part de la formation pardon également, puisque pour être pilote de drone, il faut bien sûr s'acquitter de, de, de quelques certifications. Donc voilà, on mutualise aussi le matériel. Donc on fait et du drone aérien, du drone sous-marin aussi, et puis du, du terrestre, un peu de robotique. Donc voilà, donc tout, toutes ces forces mises en commun sont là pour vraiment promouvoir la filière dans la région. Et donc on remercie le, le Havre de, de nous soutenir dans ce, dans ce projet. Voilà, et donc on, on, au fur et à mesure, maintenant aujourd'hui, on, on fait entrer de nouveaux membres à l'intérieur du CID. Euh, et bien pour pouvoir renforcer euh, ne, bah, tous ces objectifs et puis euh, mutualiser davantage et, et euh, s'entraider pour être aussi plus compétitif au niveau national mais aussi au niveau euh, européen. Je vais d'ailleurs donc laisser la parole à Cédric Bianchini d'Age de Drone qui fait partie du, du réseau CIDN. Merci. Thanks Julie, thanks Caroline, thanks to all of you 
for being here today, listen to, to the speech I have. So uh, I'm Cedric Bianchini, the founder of H2Drone, as you can see, maybe here as well. Uh, so we are a French company based in Le Havre and specialized in uh, underwater data acquisition. So uh, we are using some ROV from the market and sonar as well, but we are developing our own solution on technology, some innovative technology in order to address some specific uh, topics like uh, acquisition of data in a really complex uh, situation without visibility, uh, with a high current, for example, you know, on historical uh, building where you can't spit anything. So we have uh, developed some solution and patented uh, three solutions during 2021 for addressing this kind of a complex topic. So uh, thanks, to, thanks to that, uh, we have been lab labelized uh, Le Havre Smart Port City, Le Havre Ville Portuaire Intelligente, as we said now. Uh, and so we are as well a member of the CIDN, uh, not a founder, but uh, just a member for the animation of the underwater on the surface drone uh, topics. So um, we have the chance to, to work on the wind farm from Brest uh, to Dunkerque with our partner Ceres, which is uh, right here. Uh, we have some good deals as well with the Voie Navigab de France, for example, for the lock inspection. So we have developed some specific solution for valve inspection, you know, in, uh, in, the, in the locks. And so we have a quite, uh, quite good result uh, on this field. So thanks, uh, thanks again to all of you. Thank you, Cédric. Thank you so much uh, for this presentation. It's a small company, but you have a lot of good experiment reference here in Le Havre and in other cities. And I, let us see, perhaps in Canada too, you have in North America, a lot of cooperation. So uh, a small company, but uh, very uh, high level uh, uh, reference and uh, high level uh, uh, people in this company. So we are very proud uh, you, uh, you choose Le Havre to, uh, to build your company. So um, what we want to do here in Le Havre is to, to build a real ecosystem with all stakeholders. You understand there is university, they are there in all the projects, there is a city, the port authority, and uh, sure all the industrial who want to, to, to change here and to make experiment here in this, uh, in this area. Uh, otherwise, there is other project, rather different, but uh, we want to, uh, to, to share with you this experiment. And perhaps I want to call uh, uh, Guillaume Legrand, he's a... Uh, the founder and the president of TOT. So you could speak in English or in French as you want. Thank you so much, Caroline. What do you want? Sh shall I do it in English or in French? Right. Uh, for all the public uh, international audience that's uh, watching us over there, thank you so much. Uh, our name is TOT and it stands for Transoceanic Wind Transport. We've been transporting uh, goods cargo across the oceans for the past 10 years. On existing sailing vessels, we've moved about 2,000 tons. We've developed a specific label uh, that uh, you can track your, uh, your trace and your, your, the GPS as well as your carbon uh, footprint on each of your chocolate bars or bottle of rum or bag of coffee. Um, we've just uh, signed for the building of, new, of four vessels and uh, we're just finalizing uh, the equity tour regarding the funding of the first two ones with uh, a contract uh, entering into effect uh, early July. These vessels are 80 meters long, they carry over 1,000 tons of cargo and they are moved over 95% of the time by sail power. Uh, we've got about 40 clients that have signed on board on uh, long-term contracts. The freight rates are quite comparable to the existing fossil fuel industry as well as the transit times. Um, 
Names such as Pernod Ricard, uh, Orange, uh, Decathlon, uh, importing, exporting, c'est moi, importing chocolate are all on board. So uh, we believe that wind on the uh, deep sea is abundant, it's plentiful, uh, it's predictable, and that sail offers the best deal to transform that energy into uh, propulsion, into um, uh, moving cargo over long distances uh, in uh, obviously a carbon-free manner. Um, we have moved to Le Havre a couple of years ago, and I've had the tr pleasure to meet Caroline and the whole program Le Havre, Ville Portuaire Intelligente, because you need to say in French now. Uh, we've been introduced uh, largely into uh, that uh, circle of uh, people, stakeholders, companies, where people connected right away. Uh, to what we wanted to do. We do hope to bring our brick to the uh, big wall of efforts that uh, we need to make in order to meet with the uh, decarbonization challenges. And we do hope to be uh, working these uh, vessels on uh, this basin right over there, uh, where, we live, where we will be having uh, warehouses as well. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you very much uh, for your attention. and. Um, Come and see, uh, there's a model, uh, and Ines is right there. She can answer all technical questions. Uh, it's a, a 125th uh, uh, model that we've just printed 3D, and it's presented here for the first time. Thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Guillaume, uh, for this presentation. So um, perhaps I will just uh, conclude with this, uh, this picture. In, uh, in Le Havre, there is a, a big uh, ship, uh, shipping activities here from uh, more than 500 years. There is industrial activities, like you can see behind, and we want to introduce new activities, like the vessel of Tote here. We could find place in this territory because there is uh, some area where the port authorities have no need now who are next to the city, and we want new activities to join this uh, area. So TOT will be really next to the city when they develop their project. Siemens Gamesa, who built the huge factory around uh, wind um, eolien, so sorry, it's near the city. So now the city moves a lot, and we will be able to, uh, uh, to, to, to build here new projects, small, big, new activity, and so uh, this program, Le Havre, Ville Portuaire Intelligente, and called in English Smart Port City, is here to involve all these partners and to build a new competence with uh, upscaling competence, rescaling competence to, uh, to follow all this move in this territory. So uh, thank you so much, uh, so Synergy, and uh, we are very happy you could be here this year, and uh, see you next time, perhaps, uh, in Le Havre again, and we will uh, thank you all the company who joined the program with us. Bye-bye.